Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Yeah, I'm not in the land of the grills today. Remember this 28 inch Blackstone? This was the first Blackstone that I got almost seven years ago now and did a bunch of mods to it. This was uh, given to my youngest son, Matt, who has now dragged it all the way out to just outside of Portland, Oregon in Hillsboro, Oregon. And I'm out here today and because I wanted to see my old Blackstone and actually we're gonna do some cooking on it. Give you a look, see, show you how it's held up after almost seven years all these things people said these things were throwaways they ain't throwaways folks let's take all right if you remember we, we did make that cover uh we did a bunch of mods we did the cover uh the the old 28 inch blackstones had that uh, leak with the grease and we did a modification there with an elbow and and everything is still holding together the legs you know got a little they got a little wiggle to it after seven years let's uh take off the cover take a look and see how everything else is well up. windscreens we, we did some burgers on here last night spent a little time this morning doing a little cleaning windscreens uh i've gotten a lot of grease over it over the year years and uh but they're still holding up pretty decently the the top itself is in decent shape i mean it, you wouldn't expect that to uh uh you know deteriorate any and, and if anything remember these things were were meant to be folded down so there is a little wiggle to that the burners the burners has held, have held up very very well uh the the clicker doesn't work anymore you can you can buy a replacement for that though and everything else for the most part works good and you know what I'll show you how good it's going to work because we got some huge steaks we're going to do here with some New York strip steaks. Yeah, on the Blackstone, on a seven-year-old 28-inch that we got for, I believe it was less than 100 bucks on clearance at Walmart. So there, there they are, folks. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six nice uh, New York strips. Got, got them from Costco. Yeah, they got Costco out here in Portland, too. And steaks weren't overly expensive. Uh, meat prices aren't that bad out here. I mean, maybe the selection isn't as good as, as in some other parts of the country, but I found it pretty good. And then our host today makes up his own seasoning. And uh, Angus, what do you got in this stuff? Oh, there's uh, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika. Uh, I think that's about it. It's very simple little uh, oh, seasoned cheese. salt. Oh, Sounds delicious. Can't wait to try it and get it on the Blackstone. On a seven-year-old Blackstone. Cool. Here's a sizzle on the Blackstone. Give you a couple of seats. All right, first flip. Two and a half minutes. And uh, it isn't, isn't going to be a typical Tom Horseman cook where you see me do two and then two and a half minutes. And then I eat it because people aren't going to eat it as rare or blue as I would. But uh, we'll get them a little bit more done with that. Give you a look see. All right, there, there they are, folks. On a seven-year-old Blackstone. New York strip steak's going to be delicious. And those of you who are wondering how it held up over the years, held up just fine. Can still cook just fine. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.